Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And today we are taking a look at from the Takara Legends line. This is the LG EX, that stands for exclusive big bat powered gift set. We have Die Atlas, Sonic Bomber, and Road Fire. Um, I'm trying to be as quick as possible because Road Fire and Sonic Bomber. Um, they have three modes, whereas Die Atlas has four, and, oh boy, let me just say, uh, when we get into these modes, we'll let you know. These are all, uh, retools of pre-existing modes. We'll get into that with the individual modes. I wanted to start off with the combined big-powered form. So, uh, let's get into, uh, flying through space, shooting off rainbows, We'll start off taking a look at Sonic Bomber. Okay, here is Sonic Bomber. And Sonic Bomber is a heavy, heavy. Why they didn't just make a new mold heavy retool of the Decepticon Target Master mo mode from Titan's Return and the Legends line, um, it draws signif like primarily from Misfire, but I'll be very honest with you, I just don't see it. I don't see where that comes from. Yeah, but when you get into the transformation, you'll see it's from the that overall framework mold, but Misfire directly, I don't know. Uh, so, he does have a new weapon, just like that. Nice little rifle. Um, to start us off, I think it will be easier to go into his <clears throat> base mode, and, uh, yeah, it's, unlike Die Atlas, who's, spoilers, a retool of, uh, Sky Shadow, um, who had a base mode built in, it kind of, it's like, did he just threw, bend the figure differently and you get the base mode? But anyway, let's open up the cockpit and let's remove Sonic Bomber. Because these are headmasters and they're following in the Japanese tradition. So this is Sonic Bomber. This is his transector. You'll notice right away um, part of the issue of using uh, reusing molds is that things don't really plague it, peg in or friction into place, but holds together uh, well enough. First thing you want to do is unpeg the arms, bring them out so they form a 90 degree to the body. Then you'll just rotate them uh, at the shoulder, forward. Now these joints are tight. Uh, some will be a little bit looser. That's just the name of the game, I guess you can say. And uh, go ahead and rotate at the bicep so that little edge piece is facing down. Turn the figure around. Uh, telescope the legs out so they're straight like this. Go ahead and separate them. Um, sit the figure up. Now, this is where the instructions get a little confusing. I think you are meant to sit the figure up on that hinge, but we'll, I'll get to the point why I think it's confusing in a moment. Take these bl black sections and then flip them upright on a hinge right there. And then uh, go ahead and rotate the legs out to the side on the uh, thigh swivel. Swing them out. And then bend them at the knee joint. Just like that. So, now the next step is you want to take the gun and then peg it in here. Um, they show you bringing the arms down sort of like that for stability, I guess. I don't know. It kind of looks like they're supposed to go behind the leg, but then it's like it's back into the transform mode. Uh, I just leave it like this. I mean, it's best I can do. And then finally open up the canopy there. One thing I find surprising is there's not a lot of the, uh, you know, little uh, tight master, prime master pegs that you can decorate the base around. But, yep, 
that's the base. And believe it or not, that looks a lot like what the original Sonic Bomber toy looked like in base mode. So, kudos to Takara. All right, to continue on into uh, robot mode, close up the canopy, uh, bring the legs down like that. And uh, what you want to do is now rotate them around so the front of the leg, which is that with that hooked shoe piece, is facing away from the top. Turn it around, bring, oh, bring in the uh, landing gear. You don't need that out for uh, base mode, by the way. Just swivel that back and then just bring the arms up, situate them into place, and then uh, bring them down. Rotate them so the the uh, white part, white and red part, is facing forward. Flip out the fist. Put the gun in the hand. And since this is a you know Japanese figure, we got to do a little head-on magic here. You know, it, same old, same old when it comes to the headmaster. Says, play, peg it in, and ta da, ta dum. There you have Sonic Bomber. I got to say, it looks like a really cool figure. Um, the hips are a little loose. Um, the feet are a little weird in terms of standing. But there is a little bit of a waggle there. So I guess you do have some ankle pivot. So you can uh, get a little fancy with your poses if you so desire. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're going to pause. And then we're going to take a look at... Road Fire. Okay, so Road Fire, I can actually pick this one out. This is actually a retool of Twin Twist, who was such a late release in the Titans Return line, a lot of people never got the mold. The only way I can pick, fig figure out its Twin Twist is because of the tracks, the tank treads, and the way the legs transform. Again, this is another heavy retool. Why didn't they bother to make a new mold? Who knows? What I do like is here in the turret is where the uh, headmaster will sit. Um, the right arm, uh, or if you're looking at it here, left arm on the headmaster is a little off. Don't worry, we're going to take a closer look at the headmasters before we get back into big powered. But um, it's just something that feels a little off on it. So to go into base mode, you want to remove the turret. It does peg into... Um, Spot here, spot here. We'll just put that off to the side. Flip the arm. I'm uh, sorry, excuse me. Flip the treads out. Oh boy. Now, again, the instructions are a little unclear. I think you're supposed to separate and extend the legs out. I just go ahead and do it all the way. The instructions kind of make it look like it's only supposed to go out half the way, but things don't really work in that regard. Um, Next, what you want to do is bring the arms out on this double hinge. Very tight, by the way. Tighter than I remember the original uh, figure being. And then you're going to rotate right above, I think, the thigh joint, the um, legs inward like that. And you want to have them touching in that position. So you're going to bend the knees in slightly. And then you'll just uh, flip them up at the waist as the um, and that will sort of push the thigh swivel off but uh, the, the whole waist off of that uh, mushroom peg but you'll have it sitting up like that bring the whole figure up sit that up uh, try to get everything as situated as best as you can maybe bring the arms down a little more so That'll hold in place. Turn around here. There's a little flap on the chest you want to bring up. That will hold the uh, back section up. And then come in with the turret. And on the far peg, peg it into the top there. And, oh boy, this is not a pretty sight. But... The turret can go up and down. And like I said before, there's not like they didn't put any more pegs on for Titan Masters or Prime Masters. I kind of feel like I'm doing something off on the base mode, but 
Uh, then again, this is all using the pre-existing tooling. I don't think anything was added here from the original molds to create the base mode. And uh, come on, uh, there we go. Well, I mean, it's about as good as it's going to get. So to go, go, keep going into robot mode. Flip, take off the turret. Flip that piece down. Um, flip everything back down. Uh, you want to flip it forward like that. We'll finish up on the legs by flipping the feet out, closing up the back, flip the feet out, close up this back section, bring the knee pad forward. Of course, you're going to hit it several times. Rotate the whole section around. You've done this before. Fold that section up so it's up on the back, and then bring it up to secure it so it'll peg into place. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. It just get it lined up. There you go. Rotate it at the waist there to bring the legs forward. Open up the panels uh, here on the back. Bring the elbow down. Flip out the fist. Fold the tread uh, back like that. Rinse and repeat on the other side. Open the panel. Fold the elbow down. Fold the fist down. Close. Close. Try to keep those knees out. Uh, make sure everything's stable. Um, I do remember him being a little finicky to get the head in. So, oh god, uh, and the head, the bowl joints on the head is a little loose. So, of course, it's going to try to turn. Oh boy, he's a. Uh, this is, this is all because they had to use re tools and what have you. There we go. Got it in. You know, that's one of the things if you use new molds. Some, usually you don't have to deal with that. You can put the gun in its hand just like that. And there's road fire in its robot mode. You can't store the weapon back there. So that's two. All that's left now is to take a look at Die Atlas. And here he is, the Autobot Commander himself from Transformer Zone, Die Atlas. Um, this is a heavy, heavy, heavy retool of the um, Sky Shadow mold. Really, that whole that dual leader type of figure that was also used for Overlord. Um, two things to note. This is all Die Atlas. Takara went ahead and remolded the tank and jet parts together so they were one cohesive piece. And as you'll see, that may or may not have been the best thing, especially with how they did it. So to get into the base mode transformation, remove the gun, come into the cockpit, remove Diatlas himself, because remember, because he's a headmaster now, this is Diatlas, that's the transector. Um, come on the side here, remove the wings. We'll talk about more those in a little bit. Um, go ahead and flip the whole section apart. Detach it from there. Flip it all the way out. Um, just to mention, those clips often don't like to stay in. You really got to push them down. And then what you want to do is continue on and fold the whole thing out. Very tight joints. Um, but you can see right there, that's the only thing connecting the tank to the ship is that little fiddly, swivelly bit. Yeah, I'm not entirely uh, thrilled with it. Go ahead, separate the legs. Um, you want to then go and rotate the legs around just like so. Uh, and then if you remember the Overlord... Uh, and Sky Shadow transformation, swing them out to the side, then bring them up just like so. So they're like 90 degrees from the uh, uh, from the uh, body, just like that. Uh, go ahead, separate the arm, uh, bring the arms out to the side, extend them just like so. Rotate them so the pegs are facing inward. 
and then uh, bring it back together just like uh, that. Well, actually, no, I'm sorry. You want to bring it all the way around so that the elbow joint is facing forward. That was my mistake. No charge. And then um, if you haven't already, just sit the whole figure up. Also, I did forget to mention, fold down the tail fin there. And I mean, I already have it sitting up just for ease of handling and what have you. Uh, the next step is you want to flip this plate down and then flip this whole head section down. Um, make sure the little thin here is facing forward. That's really the only way it'll work. Um, come down to the feet. And if you, again, if you remember, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, flip out those little connector pegs so you can hook this up to Fortress Maximus or whomever you like. And as you can see, that joint does like to uh, flip around. Go ahead and flip these little back sections up. When going back into vehicle mode, make sure to fold those down properly. Uh, very important that you do that. Really, really important. These are the tabs here that will connect to Sonic Bomber in big powered mode. So you have those pieces up. The next step, what you want to do is um, take the wings and you're going to uh, let's see here. Oh, peg them in just like this uh, into the side there and bring them down slightly so it'll sit when everything to sit properly. Uh, and these will actually help stabilize the entire base mode. If it does look a little floppy, that's because it is. I cannot stress that enough. Come in here, peg the gun into the side. Uh, in, I'm sorry, peg the gun into the back of what would be the crotch area. And it's not pretty, but that's the base mode. And once again, as I've said, not a lot of places to put Titan Masters. I mean, originally, Die Atlas and the members of Big Powered were designed to hold MicroMasters. So maybe we'll see that down the line. Now, we're going to go from base mode to continue on into robot mode. Uh, remove the gun, fold those panels down, remove the wings because we're going to be doing a few things with them, believe it or not. Uh, fold these white panels back into the feet. Go ahead and flip, before you flip them up, flip these uh, panels out and around. We're going to talk about the legs um, a little bit when we get into robot mode, because I know there's been some concern. And as you can tell, you're going to fold those heel pieces out to form the feet. Uh, straighten yeah, the legs back around, flip them back around, just like so. Rotate the waist around. So it's facing, so everything's facing forward. Come up, collapse everything in, push it. Oh boy, got to push it together. And no, I'm not exaggerating. There we go. It'll snap into place, but it'll be a little loose. We've got the got the robot standing. Allow me to adjust the the camera. Oh, this is a big boy. He's going to be a big boy, let me tell you. Um, come around the back here. Make sure that tail fin is down. Flip this whole accordion, this nose section back. By the way, I should mention the drill. It's on a spring. Something tells me that's strictly for safety purposes. Uh, flip that head section forward. Rotate the head around. Flip the... And, and then uh, flip that little nose, that little thin up. You can uh, reach around behind, slide the fists around, and they will just slide out into place. Make sure eh, everything's tight. Make sure that's done. And then, of course, now all that's really left. Well, actually, no, that, that's, that's a lie. Before we get to putting the head in, I want to come around the back here on the... Um, 
side of the nose cone are pegs that the wings will now peg into. Uh, ugh, there we go. And now, for further ado, close up die atlas, fold them up, slide them in. Ta da! Ta done! There is die atlas. I just bring the fin, the, the dish on his gun forward, slide it in. Really cool looking figure. You can tell he's a good guy. Look at those primary colors. Blue, white, hints of red and black to uh, blend in with uh, uh, Sonic Bomber and Road Fire. We're not done yet, though. Remove the wings from the back. And turn them around. They'll peg together. Now, this is something the original toy was supposed to do. Um, this is supposed to be a sword. I don't know how it works as a sword. It's supposed to be in the shape of a Z. I don't see the Z, but it can peg into the side there. So you get a little bit of the shield action going. But, yep, there is uh, Die Atlas. I have to say, I do notice, especially with the arms and stuff, that this mold is borrowing not so much from Sky Shadow, but also from Overlord. But really... Just a cool looking figure and I'm glad to have it. So what we're going to do now is we'll pause. I'll come in, I'll give you a close up look at each headmaster and then I'll show you how to combine everything into big powered. In my haste to um, get through the transformation, I did make a very terrible mistake and that mistake was I forgot to show off Die Atlas's drill tank mode. It's very simple to do from the jet, the uh, flying mode. Basically, just fold that fin down, fold up the wings right here, detach the arms um, from, oops, detach the arms from the side, rotate them around so they were angling forward. Basically, those pegs will sit on top there, and then go and fold the wings down to the side. And making sure, yes, everything's secure. And there is the tank mode. I do remember it being a bit more involved than uh, on the original toy, but it's there. Um, there are pegs on this mold to put your Titan Masters and Prime Masters on, especially in the base mold, but very odd locations. And I figured they could have put, thrown in a couple more. But so that was just that. Let's take a look at the Headmasters individually. Okay, so real quick, here's Sonic Bomber. You know, you, you, you've seen one headmaster, you've seen them all lately. There's the head. Here's um, Roadfire. Again, I think these are all supposed to be smaller uh, representations of the larger robots. And of course, here's Die Atlas. The big man himself. Obviously, uh, you know, part of his head is that helmet area, but I, I'm really happy. So, like I said, now I'm going to show you how to put everything back together into Big Powered. Okay, we're going to start off with Sonic Bomber and to prepare Sonic Bomber for combination, remove the gun from the top of the canopy and peg it underneath right here. Make sure you have the landing gear up. This will help balance it. Um, next you want to just go ahead and bring, uh, let's bring Die Atlas in. And really all you need to do is remove the gun for now. Bring down that, uh, tail fin to expose the clip. And remember I told you about those black pieces? Well, they're going to slot into, um, tabs there and there on the bottom of the feet where there's a this peg will then go into the nose cone of Die Atlas and everything should hold together fairly well I would hope so um, yep, make sure I'm just checking to make sure I got everything in there you go that's the start 
Um, this in the um, OVA and Magna was called uh, Sky Powered. And Sky Powered was actually around a very long time because apparently, as I shift things around to bring in uh, Roadfire, Roadfire was a much later addition to the line. And in fact, the original Roadfire toy is very collectible now because it's one of the last original mold Transformers created. So go ahead, remove the cannon from here. Flip up this piece, It'll let it sit on top. Come underneath, flip out that section. That will uh, reveal a slot that the tail fin here, that little peg will clip into. I think I got it. Yep, it's sitting quite nicely. Now, Die Atlas with Road Fire would be called uh, Road Powered, just so you know. Uh, the next step is we're going to take the guns. Um, peg the Die Atlas's gun into the turret of the tank. And um, the final step would be pegging the turret in on top, or right there for Die Atlas. And there you have Big Powered in its combined mode. This is a flying vessel that can uh, shoot rainbows out as it flies across in space. Yep. Um, I'm just going to give you my final thoughts right now. I think this is a fantastic set. Yes, there are some issues. The nose cone does not sit as nicely to the canopy of the Sonic Bomber as I would like. As you saw with Die Atlas, the way Takara brought the jet and tank sections together, um, I think uh, could have been done better. That little joint, while it is thick and I don't think it's going to break, does make things a little floppy. Overall, uh, Roadfire has the least amount of issues with the um, mold being reused, since let's be honest, um, out of all of them, that mold has been reused the least amount of times. So I got this set from Toy Jojo. It is available from uh on eBay for much higher price, as well as Big Bad Toy Store. Like I said, if you're a fan of the old 90s Japanese exclusive Transformers, I highly recommend it. Um, if you really don't have a connection to the characters or an interest in that 90s period, there's not a lot here that I think you'd enjoy unless you're all in on Titan's Return and uh, you need to get all uses of the mold, then, you know, here you have it here. By the way, one more thing I want to mention. There's been some complaints about the legs on Die Atlas being hollow. I hope you saw in this video that they're really not that bad, and a lot of the issues from those early photos had to do with that the background actually matched the inside of and the whole leg of Die Atlas. It's not that bad. Once you have it in hand, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I know I was using a bluish background here, so that might have made it look bad too. But trust me, it's not that bad. It's fine. So, for Big Powered, this is your old pal Chuck. We will see you next time.